Hi everyone, it's the iRender team. In this video, we are gonna do a render test with Houdini software and Octane Render Engine on the server with two RTX 3090s. This is the iRender dashboard. We choose the GPU. Here is the server image list. We already created an image and set up Houdini and Octane. In case you don't have any images, just select a server package here and create one. Notice that you need to set up all software and applications for the server for the first time. They are stored and available for the next user session. According to our guide, before booting the server image, be sure to transfer the scene files to the remote server. The first option can be cloud drives like Google Drive or Dropbox. Another easier way is to use the iRenders transfer tool called the GPU Hub Sync app, it's free and convenient. Let's figure out how it works. We already log into this app, here there are X and Z drives. X drive contains software installers, allowing us to check which software installers are available on the remote server. Z drive is where the user's data is stored. It means that what we upload to the GPU Hub Sync app will be synced to Z drive. Just drag and drop our data. Ok, boot the image. This step takes us about 5 minutes. It can even take longer due to the larger server image size. The less data is stored in C drive or desktop, the faster boot time is. Once an image is booted successfully, the remote server is ready to use. Our system starts charging at this step. Here, we download the RDP file, enter our credentials into this file to connect the remote server. We're on the remote server. Notice that X and Z drives are networked drives. However, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives like C or desktop. So, copy all data or installation files to C drive before opening. Setting the output path should be in the C drive as well to avoid getting corrupted. This Houdini project is already set up with the Octane Render Engine. Now click to render. In the meanwhile, we can check the GPU performance of two RTX 3090s in Task Manager. The rendering process is complete. Check the output folder and then move it to Z drive. The purpose is to sync these rendered files to GPU Hub Sync. When everything is done, shut down the remote server in the iRender console. The final step is just to download the rendered files to the personal computer. In conclusion, we rendered a Houdini project with Octane Renderer on the 2RTX 3090 server. Total render time is 30 minutes for 89 frames or 20 seconds per frame. For 4K PBR texture, 24 texture total 10K resolution HDR. That is our render test series. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching. Happy rendering.